Welcome back to Fogger Figures, where today I'm going to be unboxing a vintage Mighty Ducks Hockey Superstars figure made by Mattel. In my opinion, this is a really, really fascinating backstory. This is part of the Mighty Ducks range, which was endorsed by Disney. So you probably all know that the Mighty Ducks was a movie starring Emilio Estevez, which followed the, the fortunes of a, a loser hockey team, a kid's loser hockey team, and how their, their coach kind of transformed them, and in doing so, learned about his own self and you know the usual kind of... Uh, Disney storyline but it spawned sequels it was I think more popular than they anticipated it was going to be and it grew arms and legs and it got to the stage where I think it almost got too big for itself as a concept because Disney bought a NHL a National Hockey League franchise to name them the, the Mighty Ducks after the movie and they invested millions upon I mean I actually read that they had to pay the LA Kings something like $50 million because the LA Kings were the franchise in the NHL that were based in California, essentially. And uh, they wanted to base the Mighty Ducks in Anaheim, close to Disney World. And they had to pay the LA Kings a ridiculous amount of money just to set up in that area. I mean, Disney ploughed, ploughed money into this, this property. Um, and the, the hockey team, I don't even think, last They still exist. I don't think they're called the Mighty Ducks anymore, but I think they're still called the Ducks, like the Anaheim Ducks or something. Um, but, yeah, I think they'd invested so much into it, they had to just go all in for it. And one of the things they did uh, was they made this cartoon series, this, this cartoon series of the Mighty Ducks. And uh, the cartoon series spawned a figure line, and this is one of the, one of the figs they've got here just now. So... I mean, to talk about the cartoon series, there are so many similarities that it's almost criminal. It's almost like complete plagiarism um, for the, the Biker Mice from Mars. I mean, it is almost exactly the same with a few minor details tweaked here and there. But basically, the Mighty Ducks, they live on a, a completely different planet. And I think it's actually like in another universe or, you know, another dimension. Um... Whereas the biker mice come from Mars, which is like the next planet from Earth. But no, these guys come from like a different universe, different dimension, something. And they live in a world that's called Puck World or Puck Land. I think it's Puck World they live in. Um, yeah, and the, the, but it's like the same thing that happens with the biker mice. Like an alien race turns up and basically wipes out the planet, um, you know, turns everybody into slaves. And there's a resistance. There's a resistance in the same way that you've got the rebels in Star Wars and the resistance uh, to this alien attack, this alien takeover, are these guys, are the guys that become the Mighty Ducks. Um, so the bad guys are, they're all kind of reptile based. I think one's, like the leader's like a dragon. Um, there's a chameleon. There's like a, a, a dinosaur. They're all sort of, reptile based the bad guys this 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 race of aliens that's trying to take over the planet and uh, a, a fight ensues they get into a, a fight in, in spaceships and they go into some kind of interdimensional travel thing and they end up almost identical to, to biker mice they end up just getting kind of by accident they land in anaheim in california and uh, because this world that the ducks come from hockey's such a big thing and and hockey's uh, like the, what everybody does in duck and puck, sorry, puck world or puck land. Um, they they realise very quickly that they they're a talented group of hockey players, and this uh, this I suppose is a franchise owner in in Anaheim where hockey's kind of on, on its last legs. No one's really interested in it. He he brings them in to become the mighty ducks, um, the hockey players. So. But they also, because they are resistance fighters or rebel fighters, they also uh, are like vigilantes as well. They go around at night, it's like 
you know, stopping crime and stuff. Uh, it's it's a bonkers concept, but I mean, it, it's it's almost like the kind of rinse and repeat concept for for toy lines around about this time, I suppose. Because as I say, biker mice it is almost exactly the same. But anyway, so in a nutshell, that's what the the property was. That's what the these figures are based on. I mean, just incidentally, if you go back and look at who was in the Mighty Ducks, man, it is it is pretty star studded. I mean, it might not have been. Came out in 1997, only lasted one season, one series. So they might not have been the biggest of actors at the time, but if you look at who was in it now, I mean, Brad Garrett, who is um, the is Robert from Everybody Loves Raymond, he was in it. Tim Curry, he's uh, he's the main bad guy in it. The Is it Clancy Brown? The guy who was the Kurgan and Highlander and the um, the head guard in the Shawshank Redemption. Big, massive guy, basically. Um, he he was in it. He was one of the voice actors, and the guy that plays this character, this is uh, Duke Lorange. Forget the name of the actor, but when I looked him up, it's just, he's like a pretty well known voice actor, and he's actually the voice of Johnny Bravo as well. So just by looking at the lineup, I think you can kind of tell that Disney were they were invested in this man. They wanted this to work. You know, they were obviously throwing some cash uh, at this. Jim Belushi actually, Jim Belushi was in it as well. He was the the team owner. Um, so you know, it wasn't like a, a bunch of nobodies. It was it was established actors that they were getting to voice these characters. So they were heavily invested in it. But um, anyway, back to the figs. I uh, I never I remember these figures from growing up. I never had them. I don't think they were that accessible. I don't think they were readily available in the shops. But I remember seeing them about. You know, maybe seeing them in catalogues or something like that, and thinking, no, they look pretty cool. But you know, because it was ducks, like humanoid ducks. I recognise the logo and, and obviously attached that to the Mighty Ducks movie, but I'd never seen a cartoon. And because uh, it wasn't like the players from the Mighty Duck movie, I suppose that's why I never really pursued them that heavily. Um, but but yeah, they, I remember thinking they were cool things, and you know I, I would I would be interested. I, mean, I was interested in them to some extent, and I think it's a pretty cool one to to have. Um, so anyway. The, there was one season of the TV show, uh, which was around about this time, kind of 96, 97, uh, but there was more than that with the figs. So the, the figure line, it had, and this is, as you can see there, this is a hockey superstars range. This is the one I was after because this is the one where they are in their, their hockey gear. It's the one where they're actually playing hockey. Um, but there are other ones. There's like the basic series, which they all look like they're in their sort of rebel alliance gear with their guns and armour and stuff like that. Um, and there's another one, I think it's, I forget what it's called, but it's like street something, like streetwise or street smart ducks, and that's when they're, you know, being vigilantes in Anaheim. Um, and there's there's maybe another one as well, actually. I, forget, I think there was maybe like four different lines within the series. Um, it might be like a minis version or something like that. But yeah, there was a few. Basically, there was a, there was a lot of figures, considering it was a TV show that only had one season. Um, there was a couple of vehicles as well. I think there was like a bike... A car. They were all sort of duck shaped, themed towards the characters. They were duck shaped with a duck bill and hockey features and stuff. But yeah, so um, I, I wanted to get one of these because because Disney Plus came out recently, and with me having really small kids, it's on quite a lot. I've been uh, flicking through Disney Plus, and this is something I noticed a while back and thought, yeah, I'm going to have to look into that a bit more. And I wanted to get myself a, a Mighty Duck figure, so I was online looking. They're not they're not overly expensive, but they're not cheap enough that I'd be buying lots of them. Um, so I really kind of had to have a look, a think about which one I want to get. So I knew I wanted one from this range where they're wearing their hockey gear. Uh, and as you can see, there's a few options in the back. Um, these are the, the Mighty Ducks players. So here's Wild Wing. He's a goalie and he's like the leader, I suppose. He's the captain. Um, that's uh, Nosedive. This one here is called Grin. He's like a big uh, enforcer guy. And uh, Duke Laurent is the, the one I've got. And this guy here, he's one of the baddies. So he's evil chameleon. Um, he's, he's dressed as a mighty duck, but it's because the chameleon's like a, a shapeshifter in the cartoon. He can transform into any sort of shape. And this is him tr pretending he's the goalie. He's pretending he's a uh, wild wing. So he can kind of infiltrate the team and, and sabotage their, their, uh, their winning streak, I suppose. Um, but yeah, so... The Duke Lorange, he's he's really the only one that's in the away strip, the, the, the clash jumper, the purple one. The rest of them are all in the white. 
Um, but that wasn't the reason I bought them. The reason I, I went for this one, because you can get them all. They're all out there to buy. Um, but I went for this one because I'm not a huge hockey fan. I don't know a great deal about hockey. I mean, I have been to ice hockey before when I've been in the States. I went to a New Jersey Devils game, actually, which was pretty cool. Um, I went to overtime and penalties, and I was like, what's going on here? It was awesome. Uh, but, yeah, when I read the, the info file here, it says um, here, well, you can see his stats. His number is 13, and his position is centre. I don't know what that means in hockey terms. I don't know, like, what the centre does in hockey. But uh, I play rugby. I'm a rugby player, and... I wear 13 and I play centre, so that is a, that's why I, I was attracted to this figure and wanted to buy him. So this is my Mighty Duck, this is, a, is Duke L'Orange, so let's get him opened up. Now, it says... It says on the packet, I put it in there just now, that like, he has like real hockey action. So this is a hockey puck, and you see it's got like, a little ball bearing in it. So I'm guessing that like, actually you can sort of sc you scoot it along the, the table, which is pretty cool. Uh, it comes with this guy, I didn't realise this until, just until I picked him up to put it on the table there. But it comes with like, I don't know if that's like a dummy, like, I mean it's not, it's not another figure, but it's just like a an opposition player for him to to practice round, I suppose. So I'm going to open this up. See what this looks like. That's well taped up. I'm actually concerned that I might snap that. It's so well taped up. But there we go. I was very concerned we'd break that hockey stick part because it's taped really tight. But yeah, so this is like a comes with a base as well. This is quite decent actually, like I didn't expect this level of accessory in this figure. But, right, there you go, so like, you stand up with that, that's easy enough. And he's, I suppose he's like a, an opponent. I don't know if he's meant to be an opponent or if it's just, as I say, like a sort of a dummy to, to train against. But anyway, here's, here's my dog. here's the orange. Now it looks like he's Really well packed in here. He's got um, these little cable tie things. These are so annoying. So another one up there as well. I've one around this hockey stick, that's what it is. I remember being so frustrated with these when I was a kid. You just try to rip your toys open and then you find it's got another cable tie, another cable tie. So, I mean, as you can see, he has he's in his, his skating gear, but he's on wheels. I don't know how well he's going to move, but I suppose you wouldn't really want him to move that freely on the wheels, because you'd want him to stand up and be able to pose him. He's got some kind of crazy plastic around his waist. I don't know what that's for. Because he's got a, uh, Oh, yeah, it is. It's because he's got an action. Nice. So, let's feed him his hockey stick. This is actually, do you know, when I bought this, when I was looking for these online, I wasn't like too impressed with them. I thought they looked decent, but I wasn't too impressed. And then when I started, it arrived and I started reading the box and stuff, I can't even get to hold that. The more, the more I read it, the more I thought, this is really nice as a figure. Man, can I get him to hold that stick? Don't know. I don't know if I'm going to manage that. Looks like his arms are maybe just not quite... Nah, not quite good enough to grip it at both ends, but um, even so, that's really cool, man. It looks like he has an action. Yeah, so he nudges, so he's got his little opposition player there. You just kind of pull him back, or do you push that? I don't know what that does. There's a button on his back, but I don't think it's actually the reason. So pull him back. <laughs> Push him forward and he, he hits the puck and it goes straight off the end of the table. Um, I think that is really decent. I mean, for a figure, you know, these came out in 1997. I think that's really, really 
don't know whether it's intricate the right word, but I mean, you've got the, the puck on the ball bearing that ice skates on the wheels, but it can still stand up okay, you know, because it's got support at either side of the wheel. He's got this little action move to fire the puck. He's not quite able to hold the stick, but I'll, I'll work at that. I'll persist with that and see if I can get him to, to hold it. But um, generally speaking, I'm really impressed with that. And it's a decent fig. I mean, it's it's weighty, it's uh, it's fairly chunky, it feels robust. You know, I don't think, unless you drop that down the stairs or something, I don't think you're going to break that. I mean, he doesn't have, his legs don't move. His legs don't move individually. His ankles don't move. So his arms, his arms do move, but obviously he's kind of stuck in the pose that he's in. Um... Because as you can see, his, his arms are kind of, they only move at the shoulder. So, yeah, I suppose that would be a bit restrictive. But you wouldn't really want him in any other pose. Because if, if he's going to hold his hockey stick and he's going to um, he's going to be shooting the puck, then fair enough. That's, I'll happily have him in that pose. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to hold the stick, though, which is strange. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and he's got this little practice guy to play against, I suppose. That I'm really happy with that. I think that's really, really cool. Um, and you know, even though I said they're they're not they're not too expensive to buy, but probably a little bit too expensive to buy multiples. I might even try and get one more. I might. Though I like the goalie, the um, slap shot. He's called. He's a captain of the team as well. Um, no, sorry, Wild Wing. He is. Um, yeah, Duke Lorange is the one with the slap shot. Uh, power save wild wing. That's if I was getting another one, I'd probably go for him. Um, but but yeah, this is this is pretty decent, and I'll get him up on the shelf, up on display, with his little uh, training dummy behind him like that as well. Yeah, that's really cool, really cool. So um, really happy that I've got him actually. Now that now that I see him out the packet and have a good look at him, he's got quite a lot of detail as well. His name on the back, number on the back. He's got. Mighty Ducks on his helmet, so it is really detailed. So obviously, that is the the duck emblem from the Disney movies as well. So, <clears throat> yeah, really cool figure, really cool figure actually. I'm really happy with that. I wonder if you can just hold this hockey stick like that. There you go. <clears throat> yeah, so delighted. Um, I'm gonna. I'm <laughs> actually gonna go and have a look and see if I can see any more now. Uh, just because I'm so impressed with him that he's out of the packet. But yeah, so that's my Mighty Duck, made by Mattel, released in 1997. Really cool figure, really happy with that. Um, that's it for this video, but stay tuned for more very, very similar videos. I have got a few different um, toy lines that I'm going to be opening up. I've, I've been online a lot, actually, recently, buying some new toys. So I'm going to be opening up a few sort of more obscure toy lines like this in the coming weeks so if you want to see those videos subscribe to the channel feel free to like this video drop a comment share on social media stay safe we'll speak soon